This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump effect just getting started but we're already seeing numbers not even Reagan had. By Norville Rose. Doom and gloomers convinced a Trump presidency would mean economic disaster for the United States are looking sillier by the day. Not only has the post-election rally in U.S. stock markets continued with another round of record closes, but retailers are now reporting that Black Friday sales, especially online, will likely set a record as well at the $3 billion mark. In addition, consumer confidence is improving dramatically, tracking with a new survey that shows the panicky chicken little squawking about a Trump White House might be better off disappearing into the confines of their coop and keeping their mouths shut. Nattering naysayers about the economic future of America and a Trump administration already have so much egg on their faces they might be mistaken for the daily special at the local breakfast joint. You may have heard, if you even cared, that Nobel Prize winning economist and New York Times columnist Paul Krugman moaned and groaned on the day the Trump upset election was declared that the markets would never recover from the policies of this particular president. The bearded wonder who has made frequent appearances as an economics expert on network panel programs said the Trump team would no doubt be ignorant of economic policy and hostile to any effort to make it work. An analysis in The Atlantic, also on on November 9, boohooed that Trump's economic policies and proposals constituted a recipe for financial panic and a possible recession. Oops. Now certainly a couple of weeks don't portend the long-term future, but since the Republican ticket scored that stunning victory over the Clinton K team, U.S. stock markets have set multiple new record highs. They closed out Thanksgiving week with another reason for Americans to give thanks, as vast new wealth has been created. In abbreviated trading on Friday, the Dow, the S&P and the Nasdaq all rose to new highs. CNBC noted the gains were enjoyed on optimism that President-elect Donald Trump's proposed policies would stimulate economic growth. Of course, a rising tide in the equities markets doesn't raise all boats across the country. But it does add to the store of American wealth and provide a strong indicator that economic optimism is replacing the pessimism that's gripped so many Americans for so long in the era of Obama. People seem to be shopping and spending with renewed enthusiasm. Bloomberg reports that consumer confidence in the U.S. following Trump's big win is riding high and trending higher. The Consumer Expectations Index of the University of Michigan survey rose by 8.4 points from October to 85.2, a one-month gain last exceeded in the December 2011, a testament to households' optimistic view on the outlook for the U.S. economy and their own pocketbooks, according to Bloomberg. This positive sentiment about America's future goes hand-in-hand -hand with another survey that shows most Americans now believe Donald Trump will do a good job in office. And the optimism about Trump is surprising in that it exceeds what the folks thought at this point in several previous presidential transitions. Okay, so maybe those respondents CNN surveyed were just thinking short-term, like a fleeting sugar high from the Trump election. Well, no, apparently not. The article summarizing the poll findings on attitudes about the president-elect reveals, 6 in 10 say he'll create good-paying jobs in economically challenged areas. Separately, 63% say they expect the economy to be in good shape a year from now, the highest share to say so since September 2012. Yeah, those doom and gloom chicken littles are looking sillier by the day. And they'd better be careful or America will wonder if they're really rooting for bad economic news so they can cluck, I told you so. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.